The other day I was playing around with some aluminum foil and a cuddle bug folder. Although aluminum foil and other types of crafting foil make shiny, vibrant backgrounds, it was just a little bit too shiny for the project I was working on. And even though metallic rub-on paste dulls the shine a little bit, the background still didn't look distressed enough. So I tried something new with embossing powder, and I'm so excited to show it to you. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this technique. First, you're going to need a Versamark pad. You're also going to need some embossing powder, and I'm using the Ranger Superfine Detail Gold Embossing Powder. Now, detail powder is not imperative for this technique, but that's the one that I had, and it works really nicely. Then you're going to need some cardstock, and I'm using some of the Gina K Designs Smoky Slate cardstock. And I've chosen the Victoria Cuddlebug folder to create my texture. Then the last thing you're going to need is, here I have a Tim Holtz sanding block. And the sanding block is what's going to create a lot of the distressed look. So to begin, you're going to take that piece of cardstock, and my cardstock here measures three and three quarter inches by five inches. And using a Versamark pad, you're going to completely cover the surface of this cardstock. And I like to do half at a time because it's just easier to hold it while you're embossing. Then, using some embossing powder, I'm going to sprinkle that all over the surface of this card to cover it completely. Like that. Then, I'm going to heat emboss that. Now, this takes a little while just because it is quite a thick layer of embossing powder on here. But once you see it start to get shiny, you can continue to move. And you'll notice as your heat tool heats up more, it goes a little bit faster. What I like about doing this technique is using cardstock instead of the foils, you do get a much sturdier background paper. Okay. Now you do have to let this cool for a minute. And you'll notice that when I do the next section, there's going to be a little bit of a line there. You're going to see that in the gold embossing, but that's not going to make much of a difference since we're going to be layering on top of this and we're going to be distressing it. So those, those little lines and cracks and things actually help the look. Okay. Now I'm going to finish off this area here with some Versamark. And Sprinkle the rest of my embossing powder over it. Like that, and then finish embossing it with my heat tool. And you can see now that the embossing gun has heated up, it's going a lot faster. You can probably also see that little bit of a line that I was talking about. It's actually because the embossing powder's thicker there because it's doubled. You've got two layers right in there. But again, you're not going to be able to see that on the finished project. For the next step, I'm going to take my embossing folder and slip that piece of cardstock that I embossed inside and run it through the cuddle bug to give it some nice texture. And you'll be able to hear that embossing powder almost cracking as you run it through. You can see how pretty that looks already. It's just got a beautiful, almost like a tin roof kind of look about it. You see that? And of course you can see that line, which really isn't that bad because tin roofs actually do have lines between the panels. So if you wanted to strategically do this piece in thirds, you could actually have those lines going across. My final step is to take the Tim Holtz sanding block 
and if I don't want my piece of cardstock to be quite so shiny, this is where the distressing comes in. I'm just going to rub the block over that embossed raised image, and you can see how that smoky slate is coming through now, creating a lot of distress, almost an antique look. Pretty. What a neat background. Now let me show you my finished card project. In my card project, I use the Floral Fantasy embossing, uh, Cuddlebug embossing folder. And you can see here how all of those beautiful little flowers and swirls and stuff really stand out everywhere that was sanded away. And the other left behind is that gold shiny part. And the stamp image that you see here and the greeting are both from the Vintage Chic Stamp TV kit. And I thought because the, the images in the kit are so vintage, what a perfect kind of background that's reminiscent of an old t Victorian tin ceiling. Try this technique using copper embossing powder over muted green cardstock to create a patina look. Or try mixing and matching bright colored embossing powders with different colored cardstocks for all kinds of beautifully distressed looks.